Greetings viewers and welcome to today's info sharing session. We'll be covering how to process an excess invoice. Now, before we implement excess invoice, we need to look at a couple of default options within our customers module. So under customers, I'm going to go to maintenance and default. And within the defaults, we will see we have got an insurance tab. And under insurance tab, we need to implement the option that says process insurance invoices. And you'll see that we've got a couple of fields that we can mark as force fields. These include things such as authorized by, claim number, policy number, incident date, and some details about the excess invoice. So we can enforce those fields and ensure that when processing excess invoice, those fields will be populated before the invoice can be processed. We can also specify a default excess customer as well as a text type for those excess invoices. Right, so once those options have been implemented and selected, we can go on and move on to our customers. So I'm gonna go look at our customer records or our customer master file, maintenance customers. And you'll see that if we, for example, go into any customer account, that we have an option to mark the customer as being an insurance company. So I'm going to mark this customer as an insurance company and select that option. And you'll see that on all customer accounts, we've got the ability to mark customers as being insurance customers. then we have the ability to mark them as insurance companies. Right, so we can then now proceed to process the excess invoice. Now the excess invoice is really two phase where we're going to be processing the normal invoice at the same time process the excess invoice. I'm going to do this via the inventory model. So under inventory, I'm going to go through to transactions invoice. And what you notice is that we now have the excess invoice option available on the top or on, on the screen on the header of the invoice. So I'm going to specify a customer. And what you notice is that, just go specify the customer again. And what you notice is that the excess invoice option is not accessible. The reason being is that this customer has not been marked as an insurance company. So I'm going to go and specify the customer we specified as insurance company previously. And what you'll see now is that the excess invoice option becomes available. So I'm, at this point, I'm just going to go create a normal invoice or GL account and specify an amount. Right, so there I've got my normal invoice, and now I'm able to go process an excess invoice. So I'm going to go to my excess invoice option, and I've got my details of the excess invoice. Select the customer. And I can now use the excess calculation as being an amount, a certain amount, or a percentage. So I'm going to say, for example, an amount. And at this point, if I go to my details, I've got the relevant force fields that are implemented under my defaults. So I need to insert those details there before I can complete the transaction. And if need be, I can use messages where I can, for example, the messages, I can create a new message, insert some details there on the invoice. And
Right, so I've got those details there, and I can process the transaction. So we've got an amount of the excess invoice, we've got the details there, we've got our messages, and we've specified the details there for our force fields. And so okay to that. And we've got details appear on the screen about the excess invoice. There's our excess totals, and we can now complete the invoice, update the invoice as you as per normal. So I'm going to say process. And I'm going to be able to print the normal invoice. So there we have our details of the normal invoice. And at this point, I'm able to also go process the excess invoice. Right, and there we have details. So there's our excess invoice, item code, excess invoice, our relevant details, and we've got our details there. So let's go look at our accounts. So if I go to my customers, I'm going to inquire. And then we've got details of our invoice. Right, so there's details, it also picks up details of the excess invoice. And let's just go look at the other invoice or, or the other customer account. And I'm just going to go and go to the source of that document. And there we have the details once again, giving us the information on the excess invoice and the normal invoice. And what you see there is we've got our excess invoice description, we have information there. So the excess invoice allocated to our excess customer, and then we have details of the normal invoice going to our insurance company. So as you can see, we have got the ability to process excess invoices, and the same platform is processing your normal invoice. And very importantly, just to do a recap, is that if we go, for example, firstly to our defaults, ensuring that under the customer defaults, or account receivable defaults, that we, under the insurance tab, we've enabled the process insurance invoice options, specified any force fields we want to implement, and then always ensuring that on the customers, if you are going to be using uh, excess invoices, that you do specify that uh, the particular customer is insurance company, which will then allow you to process the excess invoice for that particular customer. Thank you for watching. It's over and out for me and goodbye.